Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know it's All City Live TV, and thank you for tuning in. Today, we're going to be telling you guys how to play Rogue Company. Everything you need to know about the best loadouts, best guns, best perks. How do you play in each game mode? We're going to be sharing that with you right now. Let's get it. And if you guys are looking for teammates or players to run with on Rogue Company, consider joining us on Discord. The link for Discord will be in the description below. It'll also be the top pinned comment on this video. Just click the link and go into the road company chat room and just let them know that you need a teammate all right guys so before we get into each game mode and explain how each game mode works i want you guys to notice these plus symbols right above my head you click on the plus symbol to add a friend to join your lobby or party a uh, role company is best played with friends because it's highly strategical. You have to strategize on how to get wins in each game mode, which we're going to break down right now. Let's get it. All right, guys. So role company has three separate game modes. They have demolition, the newly added extraction, and they also have strikeout. Keep in mind that role company is in closed beta right now. So I imagine when open beta comes out, they're going to add a ton more game modes for you guys to enjoy. In demolition, the objective objective is the attacking team must plant the bomb in one of two targeted sites protected by the defending team. In extraction, players fight over a neutral objective point that rotates every round, and you could win by either capturing the objective or eliminating the opposing team. In strikeout, you control an objective or eliminate enemies to reduce their lives. It's a 4v4 game and each team gets 12 lives so if you eliminate all of your your opposing team's lives you win the match and if you hold down the objective your opposing team will lose lives every so so amount of seconds like 20 or 30 seconds they'll lose a lot so it's a really fun mode i really enjoyed each one of these game modes like it says here in strikeout it's like the more casual game mode so if you guys are new to the game you may want to consider starting out in strikeout all right guys so now let's get into the good stuff the rogues under Understanding each rogue, understanding their loadouts and their perks and how to use them effectively so that way you can get the best out of each rogue you play with and figure out which one better suits your playing style. But before we do that, I want to make sure that you guys understand the menu. If you guys are new to Rogue Company, to cycle through each of the menus, just hit L1 R1 at the top left of your screen where you cycle from the home screen to the rogues to your profile where you find out like your level system and the amount of kills that you've you've attained in combat and you could also go into the store and purchase rogue bucks which is pretty dope you guys see the little blue icon right above my head that's your reputation and you gain reputation in each game that you play rogue bucks right below that is where you can purchase rogue bucks you don't necessarily gain rogue bucks through each game but you start off if you get a starter pack you start off with 500 rogue bucks and you can purchase each one of these rogue with either rogue bucks or reputation that you've acquired throughout your gameplay all right guys so we're gonna select one of these rogues to help you guys better understand the loadouts your abilities your passive abilities your perks and also upgrading each weapon so if you guys get a better understanding on how to upgrade and use your perks use your ability and your passive abilities you're gonna be much better at rogue company so let's go right into anvil to help you guys understand as soon as you click X then you click on to combat loadout and here it has a menu describing each particular gun so the arbitrator has a body damage of 12.5 a fire rate of 2.5 range at 6.5 is not a high range type of gun and you're handling at 20 but when you go into the MLX mall you see that it has a body damage of 16 with a high fire rate and this means that you're gonna shoot more rapidly you're gonna shoot a lot more the max the mag size is 60 which you can upgrade as you go along one of the main things that I really love about roll company is that after each round you get an incentive and you start off like in strikeout you start off with 12,000 which will allow you to purchase your primary weapon straight away but in demolition you might have to sacrifice because you're gonna you're not gonna have enough money initially to buy your primary weapon so you might have to sacrifice a round but right after that round 
you're given a, bun a bunch of money to purchase your primary weapon and that's what I really like about Roll Company is that it offers a ton of incentives to keep you motivated and playing the game and getting better out there so I want you guys to see at the bottom it says the base then you got the tier one tier two and tier three and when I go to the right here tier one increases my mag size and you have this option at the end of each round when before you start your new round you have have money to actually purchase a different level or a different tier for your weapons uh, you have tier 2 which increases your range and then tier 3 which increases your handling another thing that I really like about Roll Company is that there really isn't anything that increases your body damage which I think is really good in a way so it forces us to strategically choose which player we're running with and it's noticeable from on the opposing team well if you're the opposing team and you see a particular uh, player out there or rogue you know what their capabilities are you know already if they have a high amount of damage there's not gonna be much surprises as you get to learn each one of these rogues each rogue has a different secondary weapon a melee weapon and your explosives you can choose either EMP some type of explosive smoke there's, there's so many variables when it comes to explosives and then you got like this guy anvil has the active protection system and what it says is this gadget will negate the next incoming projectile to help you guys better understand how much depth Roll company has if somebody if the opposing team in which this happens very often if the opposing team comes in throwing projectiles to a particular targeted location then this gadget if planted correctly will negate that whole projectile and eliminate it so and it also has different tiers and it says like increase uh, durability and detection radius and increase gadget by one so you could plant two of these in other words something like that so something to really consider when you're out there choosing your rogue is understanding all of the like uh, the loadout how you're gonna set up your loadout and which loadout you're going to upgrade as you progress in rounds now I also want to explain perks to help you guys better understand how to use the full capabilities of your rogue out there you're gonna want to equip particular perks to increase your rogue's ability so each rogue has different perks and those perks help you out out there in combat so like this first perk it says deal more damage to equipment and carry more ammunition now if you're out there running with a with a gun that has a low uh, mag size this perk might actually help you out there so let's say you want to carry a shotgun you might want to equip this particular perk because it increased your mag size uh, gain the ability to to reload while sprinting which become much more effective if you find yourself moving slow out there you might want to increase by gaining the ability to reload while you're sprinting uh, this perk revive a teammate faster you're gonna find out that if you're playing like in modes like strikeout and things like that where you want to maintain your lives because you don't want to be the first one to hit zero and lose the match you're gonna want to revive your teammates out there it becomes I haven't played any game that made it so important to revive your teammates and this game really like showcases using the ability to revive your teammates so that perk might be really well take reduced damage from explosives a lot of players out there are really using their explosives really good and strategically and to the ability if you equip this perk and you take less damage from explosives that's gonna really help you guys out there when you're trying to like uh, capture a particular target or something like that and then like this one gain an additional 25 armor there's some great characters or rogues out there like Chuck who has the ability to kind of revive himself or give him additional give himself additional health but for this particular character anvil you have the ability after either maybe in the beginning of the round or after your first round to equip this perk and it'll give you additional health with that's pretty dope and this one here this perk life dream when you down an enemy it heals for a significant amount and a short duration which is pretty dope because you want as much energy as you can get out there 
when people are, when the opposing team is strategizing against you oftentimes if you get like if you're able to get to one there's another one right behind them or maybe circling around and this is what you gotta kind of keep in mind there's so much strategy involved in rogue company so now we get into the abilities of each rogue as you cycle through the rogues they'll have different abilities and like anvil he has the barricade ability which will allow him to put down a big shield which you can use really strategically in each one of these game modes and he also has the passive ability to gain immunity to emps disorient slow and blind effects and each one of these rogues will have different abilities and passive abilities so you want to cycle through those rogues so you can figure out which one will work for you and now i want to tell you guys my experience playing with each rogue and which rogues that i found most effective and also the rogues that i found to be a complete nuisance out there that are really hard to play against anvil he's a dope rogue i think if you're new to a rogue company you may want to consider starting out with a player like anvil as he has a high mag size and the mag size will help you shoot a lot more so you can get used to the shooting mechanics out there chak is i think a more advanced type of player i really dislike playing against uh chak if you look at his abilities he has the ability when he's down to actually roll out the way and he also has one of his main abilities to increase health or revive himself which is pretty dope so chak from in my opinion is a more advanced player dallas is one of the first players that i started out with and i really enjoyed playing with dallas i think he's really a beginner type of player but if you master dallas then you can really be effective because he has a a ping option that where he snaps his fingers and you can see the opponents through walls and things of that nature so it's re he'll really help your team out there dima another great player he starts off with a grenade launcher one of his special abilities which is really dope glitch i haven't seen too many people play well with glitch but i do see the, them increasingly picking him i think that's more so because of his like um what he's wearing out there he looks like a really cool character but I, unfortunately, I haven't seen people do really well with Glitch as of yet. Lancer is now my favorite character. A high amount of speed. The ability is to move really quickly and silence your footsteps. And you'll know that being that most games like they don't really have uh how do you say like you know being able to hear people's footsteps they don't have that fully down packed but this game in particular when you hear footsteps you know an opponent is close by so that's what i like about lancer lancer moves really fast and you can silence her footsteps and she has a great gun as well so lancer is one of my favorite players phantom is the sniper and the, we <laughs> we haven't ran across i i recommend if you're a beginner to roll company do not choose phantom unless you feel like you're gonna be a go at sniping phantom is really difficult to use in my opinion but we did come across a great player using phantom i do want to mention that the hip fire in this game works really well so if you want to start out using phantom then try using hip fire with the sniper rifle it might help you out out there ronin is another player very similar to lancer a good fast player with that submachine gun that really just lays your opponents down out there and then we'll go into saint saint is a player that really he's a team player he helps your team out by reviving them and when you revive players with saint you gain health as well which is really good a lot of people find his guns difficult to use but i might start trying to use saint and see if i can make that adjustment scorch is dope because one of her abilities is that you'll shoot fire so what happens is when you shoot your opponent oftentimes you find that you're shooting your opponent and they're not going down and you feel like you're just right there one more bullet would have killed them well with scorch shooting fire bullets what happens is those fire bullets light them up on flames and drain their energy which is really dope so you might want to consider this talent one of his special abilities is something like a uav so if you're trying to hold down a targeted area you put down that uav and you can see all of the enemies within that vicinity so that's pretty dope about talent i haven't seen too many players 
be that aggressive with talent as of yet but one of our uh one of our friends were using talent yesterday and that uav really came in handy trench has a real powerful uh gun i like his gun a few bullets and they're down i think it has like a 40 to 45 body damage rate which is really good for trench and he also has the bob wire and when you throw the barbed wire down it stops there well it slows down their opponents in their tracks and in this game you can't afford like uh being slowed down out there you don't want to be slowed down vi has a great um like poison that she throws down and it'll drain your enemy and the energy that drains from your opponent comes to you and regenerates your health so that's what's dope about vi so those are the rogues that we got in the closed beta for rogue company and you guys again like i mentioned might want to cycle through these rogues so you can figure out which rogue will work best for you and before we go i do want to mention that rogue company has daily contracts as you guys see on the bottom left here if you play four matches you'll gain 250 reputation points and that's a great addition to rogue company as well i enjoy a accomplishing some of these contracts to give me some additional reputation points which I can put toward purchasing a new rogue and that's going to be super dope especially when the open beta comes out the open beta is going to be free to play and I can't wait for you guys to get on rogue company if you're new to this channel and found this video helpful and or informative please consider subscribing to our channel as we're going to have a ton of content coming your way I'll catch you guys on the next video.